Hello and welcome again to Forgotten Temples with myself, Mr. B. Now, I've never opened up next to a king, but today I do. And this is the Leper King, so named because when the French discovered this statue, he was missing a single digit, hence he got his name. But it's not just that, because there's a strange coincidence here. There is a story of the Naga snake god biting a king in ancient days and giving him leprosy. And we will be able to meet both of those characters very shortly, for we are at the Leper Terrace and it is an amazing place. There are so many carvings, the walls are festooned. So if you like your art in an ancient style, join me. This one's going to be a treat. Now, we have our mighty king and behind us we have quite the vista because this place is unique. It has something exceedingly special about it and something you won't see anywhere else in this complex and that is you need to imagine 10,000 plus people heading down this causeway and they're chanting, they're playing musical instruments, but above all, they are grieving. And the reason is the king is dead. Because where we stand, right here, is where they cremated the kings. And if you're coming to Angkor Wat Complex, I think here is a place to stand, because it offers you a great view and you're that far away from the history of mighty kings. And here we are down from that terrace up there and it's up there the mighty fire would have roared as it consumed a monarch and all around here would have been his weeping people. But if we go through here I can show you some absolutely amazing carvings and after that I've got a treat upon treats and that is just over there is the site of the royal palace but first follow me and this is the base of the terrace and what you see is carving upon carving tens of thousands of man hours and it goes all the way round, but I've brought you here for a reason, for I want you to stare into the face of a king, and there he is. He's quite remarkable. But I think what is more astonishing is how they portray the beauty of his female companions. I mean, you've got to consider how many centuries old these are, and she's absolutely beautiful, isn't she? I mean, She's an astonishing sight. But we are afforded quite an amazing privilege because we can see how this beauty was created because some of these carvings were not completed. Again here we have the king and you'll have to excuse the angle because the sun is rather high. Now can you see here this spiral effect on his chest and if we look down here these striation marks. Now, this is how they were carved. We see the same on the arms. Now, a very wise gentleman who's been a tour guide here for an awful long time informs me the reason these weren't finished is because the men were probably sent off to war. And that makes a whole load of sense, doesn't it? So it's from the king's head to the actual king's palace and that is where I'm taking you to next. And here we are inside the actual royal enclosure where the king's palace was and what you see behind me is this mighty wall and this body of water and what that body of water is is his own private bathing area. But there's something more interesting that's why I'm bringing you here because over here is a much larger pool 
And the reason this is much larger is because this is the one for all his concubines. And judging by the size of it, he had an awful lot of lovely lady friends. And here we're at the very heart of basically Angkor Wat, I feel, because this temple through these trees is the king's private temple. And we'll be visiting that another time because we've had a few delights in this video already. But it's this way I want our delightful cameraman to point because it is in this wooded area here that the palace once dwelled. So this was the king's home at the very heart of this city that was bigger than any other city in the world and arguably just as advanced as any other for it housed a million people. Can you imagine that? And just through there was his home, his family, everything he loved. Sadly, because it was built of wood, it is all gone. But I'll tell you what, just thinking about it does make me smile. This has been Mr. B of Forgotten Temples. And as always, I ask you to like, subscribe or comment. And if by chance, you fancy getting me a tank of gas to get me further down that road, then the address, as always, is patreon.com forward slash temples. Until next time, as always, I wish you absolutely nothing but the very best. Take good care.